And health alert to tell you about tonight, a mosquito borne illness that mostly occurs in the tropics is on the rise here in the US, specifically in one part of Florida that it is that is a popular vacation destination. Christian Benavidez explains what you need to know if you're heading south this summer. Omar Sanchez and Yoel Gutierrez, co-owners of Mosquito Joe in Miami, say it's getting busy. We check for standing water because that's where the main uh, mosquito problems coming from. Now when the rain's starting, uh, we're definitely getting more calls. This year, Latin America is experiencing its worst dengue fever outbreak ever, and the mosquito-borne illness is now detected in the U.S. Worldwide numbers show a troubling trend. This year, there have been already over 7.6 million cases. Dr. Eileen Marty is an infectious disease expert. Dengue is also known as breakbone fever, and, and that's because you have this terrible bone pain. You can also have pain behind your eyes. You can have nausea. Most people with dengue are asymptomatic, but some develop severe disease that can turn deadly. This is highest risk for children. The mosquito spreads the disease by biting someone who is infected, then biting and infecting someone else. The CDC says the vast majority of U.S. cases are travel associated, but a small number of cases is acquired locally. Miami-Dade County has the most cases in the country. John Paul Mutebi is the director of Mosquito Control. We are using some their products that knocks down the level population. In it. They're currently spraying in areas where cases of dengue have been confirmed and studying mosquito populations to determine if they're carrying the virus. Critical work with summer just getting started. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.